Hello friends, this is Sarun from Gadget Unplugged and today I'll be showing you how you can root your Android device. So currently the mobile phone I'm using right now is uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 running Android 5.0 Lollipop. So let me show you the Android version first. So we'll go to setting first, then tap on journal, then we'll see about device. So here you can see that this is uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop. So before we start, if you don't know anything about routing, I would like to tell you that we have already made a video about this. You can go and check out this link from where you, you will get to understand uh, what is root and what are the advantages or disadvantages of routing. So let's start the routing process. So we'll go to play store and we'll download root checker. To download root checker you need to uh, type root checker here. Tap on stall. And this application has 10 million downloads and 4.2 rating which is very popular. So anybody who has rooted his or her phone, he or she must have checked this application to check their root status. So there are other applications also to check your root status but this is one of the most popular application from where you can check your root status. This application is around 6.7 MB which won't take too much time to download. It depends on your internet speed. So here we go. Say agree, click on OK. You can see that device uh, model number and Android version is already captured by this application. So let's tap on verify root and uh, so as you can see that saying sorry root access is not properly installed on this device. It means that this device is not rooted yet. So now we have checked the status of our device. Now let's start and root the device. So first of all we need to go to developer option, go to settings, go to journal. As you can see the developer option is already open on my device but uh, most of you who are uh, doing it first time they won't see this uh, uh, option. So to open this option you need to go to about device and now here you need to tap 7 times to open developer option and it will open developer option on your device just above about device option. So go to developer option and uh, enable USB debugging. So currently USB debugging is already enabled on my device. So from here you need to download 3 files which I have already downloaded and you can go and check in our description to download the files and keep it in a folder on your desktop so that I can uh, show you uh, step by step. Now connect your device to your PC and we'll copy super user uh, zip folder to SD card. Click on copy and paste. So once you have copied super user on your SD card, now the next step is we need to go to downloading mode. So to go to downloading mode, you need to switch off your phone first. So let's switch off the phone now. And now from here you need to press three buttons together. The first button is your power button and the second button is your volume down key and the third button is your main menu key. You need to press it together so that we can go to downloading mode. Let's do it. Just press and hold till the time you won't see this warning. And as you can see now we are on downloading mode. So now you need to connect your device to the PC through USB. And now on our PC we need to open Odin first. Go to the Odin folder, open this application. Alright, so you need to open this application with the administrator uh, rights. So we'll open it again. Just right click and uh, just right click and click on run as administrator. Now you need to press volume up key to continue. And here you can see that our device is connected. You need to ensure that you need to uncheck auto reboot here. Apart from this everything is supposed to be same. Now click on AP 
and select CWM recovery. As you can see that CWM recovery is selected here. Click on start. It will take hardly 2-3 seconds. Here you can see green color box saying pass means CWM recovery is installed on your uh, device successfully. So from here there are two possibilities either your phone will restart automatically or it will be on downloading mode and if it's in downloading mode you need to restart your phone. You can unplug your USB now and press volume down key, power key and main menu button together. And here you can see that phone is restarting. So as you can see the phone is on now. Now CWM recovery is successfully installed in this device. From here we need to go to CWM recovery mode. To open CWM recovery mode you need to switch off your phone and press your power key volume up key this time and main menu button together. Let's switch off the phone first. Let's go to the CWM recovery mode. So the phone is fully off now. So let's press power button, volume up key and main menu button together. Till the time boot logo doesn't come. And then leave it and it will automatically open uh, CWM recovery mode. But this time it will take a bit of time to open it. So don't worry about it. So from CWM recovery mode we can uh, install super user on our device and then we can check root access and uh, it will be rooted most probably if everything goes right. So now here you can see this is CWM recovery mode. So to navigate this uh, you can use your volume up and down key and your power button. Apart from this as I am using Samsung Galaxy Note 3 I'll, I have these uh, touch buttons also. Most of the device will not have these option most probably. So to install super user you need to go to install zip option and from here you can navigate to uh, that particular folder where you have uh, copied your uh, super user and we have copied it uh, to our external SD card. So from here you can see all SD card folders and subfolders. Now we need to select update SU from zip folder. Select yes and install. So now as you can see that super user is installing on our device. It won't take too much time. So the super user is installed now and we need to go back and reboot our device. Let me fast forward it because it will take a bit time to reboot the device now. Here you can see that super user application is installed on our device. So first of all let's open super user. No thanks. So normally in app section it shows all your rooted applications which need root app root permission. So currently uh, it's not showing any application. It, it means that root checker will not show you that your device is rooted. So it will take some time. Let's uh, let's see what all options are there by the time. I'll try to make another video about all these functionalities of uh, super user. So let's see if it's open directly with root checker application or not. It automatically asks for permission but right now it's not showing it means that super user is accessing all the data of your device right now in background. As soon as it grants permission to root checker, root checker will show that device is rooted. But let's see let's try once. And this time it will take time to verify root access. So as you can see there it's doing second attempt to try and verify root access.
so as i said that this application doesn't have root permissions now and that's why it's saying that root is not properly installed let's try once again and again open super user now so here we go this time it's showing uh, for permission and uh, we need to grant permission to this application so that it will show root status current root status of our device so let's grant the permission now this application has all root permissions so now if we open root checker it will definitely show uh, the root current root status so let's verify again so as you can see that congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so here we go we have successfully rooted our device and now from here you can install all your uh, rooted application and enjoy those thank you guys thanks for watching this video and uh, if you like this video please hit like if you want to share this video please share as much as you can and subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and we'll definitely make more videos like this thank you so much